of these gigs? Sure. Shopping malls are the bread and butter of a daytime actor's popularity. Mm. Fans love it when you pop off the screen and go visit them in their backyard, so to speak. Well, I'm real glad you asked me along for the ride. Give me a chance to chill out a little bit, you know, kind of just pack up my cares and woes. Uh, here I go. <laughs> Sing it low. Bye-bye, <laughs> love you. Hey, hit that accordion. Where is it? Steve, Edie, where are you? We need you. Never mind. <laughs> Uh, you know, I really hate to mention this, but uh, all I've seen for the last half hour is a lot of pine trees. Well, Max, what do you expect? We're in South Jersey. Well, it seems, seems a little bit desolated for a shopping mall. Are we on the wrong road? Max, I know where I'm going. I've been to the Pineland Mall before. It's, it's a shortcut. Okay, you say so. <sighs> okay. Here's the scheduling changes for the show. Make sure this gets to production immediately. Thanks. Well, here I am, bright and early as promised. Oh. I even got on my um, power tie, just like the famous newscasters, Peter Jennings. Look out. Huh? Uh, yeah, I told my friends, all my friends that I'd be on, even Judith Dannemandora is going to aim the old satellite dish in this direction. Look, uh, John, about the show. Um... Mm. It's okay. I, t I told them that, uh, well, that this was just a preview of my own show and that, uh, well, if the Landview Crime Watch works out, I've got an idea for a sequel. My turn? Oh, yeah. I guess I'm a little excited about all this. I wish you weren't. Why? Look, I I'm so sorry to say this, but I have to cancel you, John. Aren't you forgetting something? Uh, madam. Oh, Heron, thank you very much. Just set it down here, please. Is that the last of them? Uh, yes, madam. All right. Is there anything else I can get for you, ma'am? Uh, no, no, thank you. Uh, this should keep me busy for a while. Very good, ma'am. Your book has to be here somewhere. What's all this? Oh, uh, careful, don't trip on the boxes. Well, where did it all come from, huh? Eh? The attic. I asked Heron to bring it all down for me. A little late for spring cleaning, isn't it? I'm not cleaning, I'm searching. For what? Proof. Oh, wait, this, uh, this all looks like... High school memorabilia. Yes, it is. I'm going to go through every single one of these boxes until I find the proof that I need that I was at my graduation despite what everybody else says to the contrary. Here's what to do when you don't find... What? I just started. I just finished. Find something that will prove that I was there because I distinctly remember my senior year. My, my last semester in particular. Honey, what difference does it all make now? You have no idea how many times I woke up last night hearing Gretel's voice shouting at me, calling me a liar. I wouldn't know Gretel from Adam or, or Eve, but it seemed pretty obvious to me that, that she's a, a very bitter lady who found an opportunity to vent some old anger at you for some grudge she's been holding against you. No, no, there's more to it than that. Honey, I'm afraid... I'm just afraid that there's something terribly wrong here, and I... I've got to keep digging until I come up with some answers. How long have you been at this? Since this morning. You know, you took a pretty nasty blow on the head last night, honey. I think you should be getting some rest instead of rummaging through a bunch of... There it is. I've got it.
Victoria Lord has satisfactorily completed. Da, 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 da. We therefore award this diploma as testimony of her graduating from the land of Uvalde, 15th of June, 1963. Good. And here's the speech I made at my graduation. Well, terrific. Now I can get Heron in here to box this stuff up and get it back where he belongs, right? No, 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 wait. Wait. Honey. What? Look, you have found your diploma and you've got your graduation speech. Now, what sort of proof do you need? There it is. The piece de resistance. Voila, my yearbook. This is going to prove that I was at my graduation because I remember everybody signing it right after the ceremony. I don't understand. How can this be? What's the matter? Well, there are no signatures in here. Come on. Come on back in. I didn't see you come in. No, obviously. Is this some kind of a um, school holiday, or do you just have other plans? I was heading out to the stables. I was going to rub down my horse. I ran him kind of hard yesterday. Oh, I see, I see. What about school? I was going to skip it. Hmm. You know, there's time for horses, and there's time for school. Now, I figure that uh, 10 o'clock on a weekday, then you want to be in the schoolroom, not in the stable. I know, but school's just such a drag. Why is that? Because we're studying stuff I already learned, like uh, Julius Caesar. I already studied that last year back home. Well, if you're bored because they're going over material that you already know, I think maybe I ought to speak to that principal, see if he can move you up a grade. Yeah, but I like to be with the kids my own age. Oh, well, then you don't have any choice then, do you? I guess not. It's just that it's such a drag to study something you've already read. Yeah. Yeah, but you know what? The second time around, you might pick something up that you missed the first time. Yeah, and, and William Shakespeare, that's not easy reading, you know. Tell me about it. All those forsooths and methinks. Yeah. Kind of makes you wonder why I didn't just write in plain English, you know. Why don't I drive you to school, and uh, maybe you can find out. Yeah. OK, I guess I could still learn something about Julius Caesar. Never know unless you take a, a stab at it. Oh. I'm sorry. I, was, I couldn't pass that up. Come on. Oh, oh, I'm glad you're still here. I'd like you to meet someone. Who's that, Pa? Michael Grand. What, the billionaire land developer? The one and only. Michael, come on in. It's my son, Bo. Bo? Michael Grand. Pleasure to meet you. Well, the uh, pleasure's all mine. I just finished reading your book. Ah, yes. Well, in uh, all modesty, I must say that I'm quite surprised that it uh, reached the top of the bestseller list so fast. <laughs> well, hell, everybody's reading it to find out how you managed to make so much money. I did it, and I couldn't put it down. Well, uh, you could write a few books of your own, eh, sir? Ah, uh, someday I may tackle it. I'd like you to meet my grandson, Drew. Where'd he go? Well, I, I promised to drive him to school, so he's probably already gone out to the uh, car. So, um... You gents will excuse me. Pleasure meeting you. You too. When did Sarah get that letter from your father? Last night. I'm really excited about having him come back to the States. Sarah and I haven't seen him for almost a year. Why not? They have a llama every day from Billy to Nepal. The new one. They get you there in two shakes of the coattail. <laughs> All right. Well, it, wouldn't, <laughs> it wouldn't make any difference. By the time we got there, Dad would be off on some other adventure. Ah. White water rafting down some unknown oh. river or lecturing at some Enviro Care conference. Wait a minute, I heard of that organization. Oh, yeah, I'm not surprised. It's the largest interest group devoted to the preservation of the environment. My father was the founder of it. Are you kidding? Mm -hmm. Well, he's quite a guy, isn't he? Was he world traveler, humanitarian, adventurer? Guess I must have inherited some of those traits. Why, are you the adventurous type? Now, would I be sitting here in this car with you right now if I wasn't? I mean, what am I doing here with someone who I pegged on first sight as, oh, just another pushy, conceited jerk? Whoa, 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 whoa wait, wait, time out. Time out here, folks. Let's hold on here. Listen, your first impression wasn't so hot either, let me remind you. I thought you were this kind of self-centered, hooray for me, the hell with everyone else kind of girl. I mean, I had the impression that you would have just used anyone to get ahead. And I got to tell you something. 
I am really glad I spent some time with you because you are actually very warm and funny and very caring. Wait, did you see that sign? What sign? I didn't see a sign. I think we're on the wrong road. You mean we're lost? Well, no, but I think maybe we should go back and check out that sign. Oh, oh, no, no, not now. Don't do this to me, you tin can. Oh. From Touchstone Pictures, when Elvis Presley walked out... I think I just fell for the oldest trick in the book. What are you talking about? That tank is as dry as the ladies' temperance meeting. There's not a single drop of gas in this car. Oh, Max, what am I going to do? I'm supposed to be at that mall in less than an hour for my appearance. I don't suppose this thing is within walking distance. Can you walk at 75 miles per hour? Maybe we should uh, both just... It's on our way. Maybe we can catch a lift. We are in the middle of South Jersey, Max. Not on the southbound lane of the Schuylkill Parkway. By the time another car floats around down here, we're going to... Now, wait a minute. Wasn't there a cabin about a quarter of a mile back? I didn't see one. What, was it near the sign? No, just a little beyond it. I think it was sort of set back in the woods. Come on, let's go check it out. Maybe they've got a phone we can use. Okay, be standing around here, let me tell you that, and counting pine cones. Cancel me? Let me get this straight. I, I got up early this morning, got down here. I told all my friends I'm going to be on the show. I even bought this new tie, and the last minute you're going to trash me? No, it's not trash, John. Look, I'm really sorry, but guess who's come to town? Santa Claus. <laughs> no, no, somebody better than that. Michael Grand. Well... No. You know, you know, the multi-zillionaire land developer. I mean, friend to kings and presidents. Uh, Best-selling yeah. author. That Michael Graham. Yeah. So I don't know why he came to Landview, but I want him to be on the show. So I called the hotel, but his assistant went put me through. I guess he's notorious for not wanting to do any press. Yeah, yeah, so I heard. Anyway, wherever he goes, you know something's going on, and I want to find out what it is. So that's why I kind of have to keep this slot free, just in case he says he'll do the show. Hey, well, look, I mean, I'm an understanding kind of guy. I'll tell you what, I'll just cut my time in half and share it with Mikey. Well, <laughs> I mean, actually, your, your segment is so important that I think that you should do it alone. How about tomorrow? I'll put you on tomorrow. As a matter of fact, I've talked to PR. They're going to run some hey, promos listen, for you I really appreciate it, but you don't even know if the guy's going to show up for today's show, right? I'll talk him into it. Yeah, but you said that his assistant wouldn't even let you talk to him. I happen to know that Michael Grand is right now at Asa Buchanan's house without his assistant. <laughs> you got to be kidding. Asa? Do you think Asa's going to let you even through the door after the way you and Max bought WVLE out from under him? Well, I know he's mad at me, but you know me. I'll think of something. Come on, Melinda. Just admit it. You're spinning your wheels here. Now, why don't you just go ahead and have the show as you had planned with me as the guest? What are you looking at? I've just seen how I'm going to get to Michael Grand at Asa's. I'll talk to you later. Well, listen, you listen, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Melinda! Show this. Please, sit down. Well, what brings you to our neck of the woods, Michael? Well, Asa, I am looking to build a major sports complex right here in Landview. But promise me you'll keep that our little secret, because I do not want the press involved. A little superstition of mine never to reveal my intentions before I have a firm deal. I agree. I, I don't like to jinx a deal by jumping ahead and announcing it before it's signed and sealed. I will get that, Nigel. Excuse me. Hello. Yes, may I speak to Asa Buchanan, please? Speaking? Well, I hate to bother you, but this is Nurse Roger calling from Landview Hospital. Who? Well, it seems that there's been a mistake on your recent test, and it's imperative that you come to the hospital immediately so that the doctor can run another battery of tests. Are you telling me that I'm going to be prodded with needles all over again? I'm afraid so. Of all this... Who, who is responsible for this mistake? Oh, I'm sorry. You'll have to direct any questions you have to your doctor. Oh, I'll direct them, all right. And you tell that Dr. Wallach he has got one unhappy patient. Well, uh, Michael, I'll have to leave you to your own devices for a few minutes. It seems I took some tests at the hospital. They lost them. I, I have to take them again. I tell you what, uh, maybe you'd like to look over some of these land maps of mine and yours, if you wish. Sure. Thanks. You're welcome. 
phase one successfully completed, now for phase two. Oh, Joe, don't worry. I have an emergency. I have to leave just about half an hour. I'll be right back. Okay, Miss Kramer. What is happening here? Wow! Magic! There have never been toys quite like this before. No kidding. Toys that bring imaginations to life. <laughs> Introducing Disney Infant and Preschool Toys and all of their magic. It's a dream come true. <laughs> Disney Toys from Mattel. Bringing imaginations to life. You miss her. More than I imagined. I can't believe she's old enough to leave for college. I can't believe you're old enough to be your mom. You're as beautiful today as the day she was born. I take care of myself. She eats right, exercises, and takes Geritol complete. With nearly twice the iron of ordinary supplements, all the vitamins and minerals you need. And now with beta carotene. She's got an exciting future. So do we. Geritol complete for the best years of your life. Everyone dreams of making it big, even raisins. And the big dream shared by every raisin is to be big enough for Post Raisin Bran. But for Post, only one... I can't believe he showed up. It's the last thing I need in my face is him. What am I gonna do? Rule. Why did you bolt out of the living room like that? What's the matter, son? Nothing's the matter, okay? I, I just, I didn't want to be in there anymore. Look, look, it's only been a couple of weeks since we've gotten reacquainted, but I can tell when something's bothering you now. Why don't we just uh, take a seat? We'll just hash it out, all right? There's nothing to hash out. I think there is. I saw the look in your eye when Ace introduced that Michael Grant. Don't you mention his name around me. I can't stand that guy. Okay, okay, okay. Just relax, all right? Come on, sit down. We'll talk about it. Well, there's nothing to talk about. Except that Michael Grant killed Jesse. Whoa, no. You want to run that by me again? Michael Grant. He was the guy buying up all the land back home. But Jesse refused to sell. So those two guys that came into his restaurant that night to rob him, see, they were really trying to scare him into selling because the deal was going to fall through and Grand didn't have all the property he needed. Look, <clears throat> he's a land developer. It's his business as well as his right to buy a property. Now, you can't blame Jesse's death on him. Look, those two guys might have fired the shots that killed Jesse, but that's the man who loaded the gun. And he's the one who paid off the authorities and, and let those murderers go scot-free. All right, Drew, listen, listen. You don't know that. And it's plain as day to me. All right, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, son. I, I, I know how you feel, but... You don't know how I feel. Nobody knows how I feel, because I'm the only one that knows the truth. That that, that greedy, money-grubbing scum killed my father. And I'll tell you something, I will never, ever forget that. I don't know how to break the news to you, but I think your odometer's broken, too. That quarter mile we just hiked, I think it was a lot further. No kidding. I am just pooped. I must look a mess after walking through all that underbrush. Well, let's just take a look around here, see what we have at our disposal. Obviously, no one has lived here in a long time. Guess they won't mind if we make ourselves at home for a bit. Well, judging from the lack of modern-day conveniences, I'd say the last person that lived here was Daniel Boone. <laughs> well? Water! Ah! <laughs> and there's some canned food? And we got firewood. No problem there. There's a cot here with a blanket, all made up. Yep. Well, that's good. I wouldn't mind a little nap before we figure out what we're going to do next. Ugh. Well, it's obviously not going to be a phone call because there is no phone in this place, I don't think. And definitely, definitely no electricity. I'm sorry, Max. When I asked you to come along, I did not think that we would end up in a place like this in the middle of the Jersey Pines. Hey, don't worry about it. 
I can think of worse things than being stranded and trapped in a shack with a beautiful woman. Don't try and spare my feelings. I know I must look absolutely horrid right now. All right, trapped with an absolutely horrid-looking beautiful woman. Is that much better? <laughs> <laughs> you would just drop it, please. Anything my lady wishes. Uh-oh. The mystery door. What could that be? A closet, you think? What could be behind it? Let's check. Please let it be an enjoining hall to a suite at the plaza. Oh, the remains of Little Red Riding Hood. <laughs> All the better to eat you with, my dear. And I thought your acting days were over. Everyone, everyone's a critic here. Open Sesame! Yahoo! Whoopie-doo! Okay, guys, vacation's over, out, and to work! bibbidi bobbidi doo You know, it always works for Mickey. I could never figure that one out. Honey, that's the fourth time you've flipped through that book. Now, the thing is that there have to be signatures in here. I remember coming home and reading them and laughing because some of them were so silly. Look, how do you know that that is the, the very same book that you had the day of your graduation? Oh, that's... that's right. Hmm? Of course you're right. This is obviously not my book. <laughs> I, was, I was on the, the staff of the newspaper... Uh, at school, and, and obviously I got an extra copy so that I, I could interview the editor of the yearbook or something like that, but... Well, I mean, that's the obvious explanation. This is not my, my yearbook. But if it's not my yearbook, where, where is my yearbook? <laughs> Honey, after 25 years, it could be any place. But you got the diploma, you got your graduation speech. Now, it seems to me that your search is over. I still have no idea why everyone at that reunion told me that I didn't show up for my graduation. The reunion? is over. Now, why worry about what anyone said? You probably won't see those people the rest of your whole life. Yeah, but I can't stick my head in the sand, sweetheart. I mean, what if what if my art teacher is right? But what if Mrs. Corday didn't really give me the, the medal for art achievement? What if I never finished the painting the way she said? I think you're getting yourself all wound up. Over well, I don't. I don't. I mean, what, what about Matthew Harper? Well, I don't know. What about Matthew Harper? Honey, I know. I know that Matthew Harper took me to the prom. He says he took Sissy Foster and then he married her. And now he's the proud father of six boys and two girls. Well, you married me. And you're the proud mother of two wonderful boys and one beautiful little girl. Is that so shabby? Darling, of course not. You know what I mean. I'm happy where I am. I just... I cannot rest until I find something. Something that will prove that this is not just a figment of my imagination. Vicky, please. Please don't go working yourself up into a frenzy over this. It, it's in the past. It's over and done with. Forget it. I can't forget it. I have to find something that... Oh, God, I found it. I found it! You found what? I found it. It's my father and me. On graduation day and on the back, it says Victor and Victoria. On graduation day. Oh, God, I'm so relieved. All right, are you finally convinced? Yes. Well, that makes me very happy. You have no idea how... how happy I am. I was so af afraid. Of what? Nothing. It's not important. I have the proof here. It's in black and white. We can go on now. No, no, wait a minute. Honey, we can talk about anything. You know that. I've just had some awful fears about this. You want to talk about it? I was starting to believe it. For a minute, I really believed that I didn't go to my graduation. That for some reason, I disappeared from Landview.
where stock is this going? Everywhere with our single serving pull top can. It's the perfect way to take delicious star kissed prime tuna filet with you wherever you go. At work or play, travel light. It's a fear that will always be with me, I suppose. I was afraid that maybe I had disappeared because of Nikki Smith. No wonder you were upset. It scared me to death to think that my memory of that time might be all twisted up because Nikki made an appearance in high school. How could she? You told me that your, uh, your first episode with your split personality was in college. Well, that's what I always thought. At least that's what my father always told me. But since yesterday, I've been thinking that maybe my father was, has been lying to me. Why would he lie to you? To protect me. Just looking at this picture makes me remember that he used to get so upset whenever something troubled me. Well, if that's the case, it doesn't make sense that he'd lie to you about your first episode with Mickey Smith. Not unless he had some terrible reason for lying. Of course, everything about Nikki Smith was terrible. I guess that's why I panicked and just jumped to the wrong conclusions. Well, everything's all right now. It's settled, right? Oh, yes. This picture is all the proof that I need. Good. Good. It is funny, though. <laughs> what? Oh, how when you're desperately seeking answers, how you will talk yourself into almost anything. Even if it's the worst possible conclusion you can come up with. Now, wait a minute, Mr. Wolf. What happens after the kiss? I don't know. Uh, maybe another kiss. I mean, do we fade to black? Or do we cut to the next scene only to discover Max and Megan on the cot after they've pushed it to the limits of decency? Well, what do you say we just improvise? Absolutely not. I am an actress, Max. If I kiss a man, it's because it's called for in the script. Without a script, I'm lost. <gasps> Megan! It's your lucky day! I'm a script writer! Oh, is that so? Yes! Well, what do you have in store for us today? Well, let's take a look at the script. Uh, oh, what? Yep, yep, here we are. Act four, scene B. Megan, unable to resist Max any longer, shows her willingness by placing her hands behind her back, closing her eyes, lifting her chin up to him, and Max moves slowly in to kiss. Wait a minute. That's wrong. Aren't you supposed to save me from the clutches of a monster before you kiss me? No, no, you got that wrong. See, us script writers, we only put in monsters and cliffhangers on Fridays. This is not a Friday show, okay? Listen, I did think about adding in the Jersey Devil. I figured I'd have him take you hostage. Of course, I would destroy him with one single blow, but I didn't think the viewers would buy like a mythical creature from the 1700s, so he's out. Why not? He's from this area, and he's due to make another appearance this year. Look, I would really, really love to oblige you, but... All that's in the script is a kiss. See? Okay. You're the writer. May I help you? Uh, yes. <clears throat> I, uh, I have a message here from Michael Grand. I'll make certain he receives it. My orders were to give it to him in person. Very well. This way, please. Nice place. You want to trade jobs? <laughs> yes, this way, please. Excuse me, Mr. Grant. There's a delivery for you. Oh, thank you, Nigel. You're Michael Grant? Yes. Here you go. <clears throat> thank you. Oh, uh, sign on line 23. Oh. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Uh, 
I don't have any change. Oh, oh, that's okay. Uh, we're not allowed to accept tips. Then why are you standing here? I have orders to uh, wait for a reply. <clears throat> oh, I see. Then, uh, then I'll have to read this uh, to find out what the question is. Oh, take your time. Yeah, uh, dear Mr. Grant, I know that you are a busy man and don't often grant interviews, but I host a local show called View on Land View. And if you are available, I would consider it a great honor if you would consent to appear on today's show, hoping that you reply in the affirmative. I remain sincerely yours, Melinda Kramer. Melinda Kramer? Oh, wow. You must be a pretty important guy to get on her show. You've heard of it? Oh, you on Landview? Are you kidding? It's, it's like the hottest show on television. I'd do anything to be on that show, just for a minute. And Miss Kramer, oh, I'm telling you, she is uh, quite a gal, if you uh, get my drift. How could I miss it? So, uh, you got an answer? Yeah, you, uh, you tell Miss Kramer that... Uh, oh, my hair brains damn stunts. Hey, so what happened? These are the hands of an arthritic. Hands that know painful stiffness in the fingers. These are the hands of Ralph Martin. And this is his formula for arthritis pain. Arthritis pain formula from the makers of Anison in maximum strength caplets that give hours of relief from minor arthritis pain. I have arthritis, but it doesn't have me. Arthritis pain formula. Sears Portrait Studios present some great new faces. New faces captured by the photo experts at Sears. Buy two 8x10s, three 5x7s, and 15 wallets for only $16.95 and get a free 10x13 wall portrait. So if your family has a great new face, Sears is the place to take that face. Sears, your money's worth and a whole lot more. like my sister, but she grew nice. I want to be a teenager and go to beach parties. And she means liberty to everyone who sees her. The child who creates is a child who develops. Encourage them to color with Crayola crayons and markers. To imagine, create, and grow. Crayola, every child's camera of life. They've got soul, but we're having all the fun. In the great scandal of 84, heavyweight Michael Keaton was arrested for impersonating an athlete. Is this a great country or what? This year, he's looking for a new event. Are you saying we should become pimps? Pimps is an ugly word. There'll be some stiff competition. But with Henry Winkler and Shelley Long on his side... Get out of town! There's no way he can lose in Night Shift. Two hours of excitement in a special event after growing pains and head of the class tomorrow. So it happened, Michael. Some idiot tried to play a practical joke on me. Well, then they didn't make a mistake on your tests. Hell no, I passed with flying colors, but some jokes that were too much time in his hands tried to make a fool out of Ace of Buchanan. Who's that? Messenger. He delivered this to me. All right, that's the last of them. Case closed, figuratively and literally. Thank you for helping. Oh. No problem. I love packing. It's not what I mean. I mean, thank you for helping me work this thing out. At least tonight I'll sleep, because this mystery's been solved. Good. Don't go getting any more crazy ideas about Nikki Smith, will you? Every time I hear her names, I feel like some big jack mule kicked me right in the stomach. I know. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to upset you. Oh, I can handle it. I can handle it. Especially now that I know she is gone for good. Mm-hmm. Okay. And I promise you, the subject of Nikki Smith will be closed forever. Good. Feeling better? Oh, yes, much. 
much. All right. Then you won't uh, mind if I run over to the banner for a while? No, of course not. Why, is something wrong there? Well, it's that uh, new printing machine we got after the explosion. Greg says that it's misprinting after every tenth copy, and uh, before I come down on the company that sold it to us, I want to make sure it isn't human error. Well, shall I hold that for you? Uh, nah, honey, better not. I don't know how long this is going to take. Okay. But I guarantee you I'll be home for dinner. All right, darling. I'll see you later. You Drive got it. carefully, okay? Yes. Put that away, huh? <laughs> yes. See you. Bye-bye, darling. Bye. I look rather dashing in my cap and gown. Can a woman be dashing? Sure, why not? Mrs. Buchanan, I uh, just found this in the attic. I must have overlooked it when I brought the other boxes down. Uh, I, I thought you might like to examine the contents of this one also. Oh, okay. Thank you, Harry. Uh, set it down there, please. When I'm done with them all, would you be so good as to take them all back up to the attic, please? It's very good, madam. Thank you. Lunch break. It's not in the script. Sorry, union rules. It's written into my contract. One hour lunch, no matter where we are in the shooting. Oh, that's for, look, really, I'm not thinking about eating. Okay, fine. I'd hate to see you get in trouble with the union. What else we got around here to occupy our time? I'm staying away from there, that's for sure. Ah, what could this be? Oh, lonely soldier, please be the answer to all my prayers. Mama, I'm home. 1986, a very unpresumptuous year. Well, it could add a little flavor to this tin can cuisine. Are you sorry that you, uh, miss this fan gathering, chance to get all their appreciation? You got to sit around here and play Ma Kettle with me? What, and miss one of life's little experiences? Please. I've paid my dues at enough shopping malls. But this is the first time that I've been stuck in a cabin with a man who owns not only a hotel, but a TV station. Is that all I got going for me? No, oh, it doesn't hurt. You mean you would walk right out of here if I were a penniless bum? And you mean to tell me that you'd stay here if I really looked like Ma Kettle? Thing is, you don't look like Ma Kettle. Thing is, you're not penniless. So we take a look in the script, see what comes next. Oh, I don't think that's necessary. I have a feeling we're heading for a fade out. Mm. At Play School, we know the most creative fun is the kind you build yourself. So we make Pipeworks to build with, play on, and ride in. Play School Pipeworks, Play School Pipeworks. Play School's Pipeworks has the special click lock system so it holds together. Click and lock, click and lock. Play School Pipeworks, big sturdy pieces that click together, lock in place, and won't come apart without a Pipeworks wrench. Play School Pipeworks, Play School Pipeworks. I can build a new toy every day. Play School Pipeworks. Nothing's better than American cooking. And America's cooking with what? Let's eat. Okay. Don't miss Aunt Betty's chicken. So crispy. Mm. Great. Juicy, too. Really. Wow. Homemade fries. I can't imagine what she does to make these things so light. Save room for pie. You ought to visit us more often, Charlie. Oh, what a meal. America's cooking with all natural Wesson. Vegetable, corn, and sunflower oils. With every bite, you know you're frying right. We're out to touch your tummy. Come, come, tummy. Hold on to your tummy. We got something to do. We're out to touch your tummy.
yearning to share her deepest emotions, her innermost thoughts. Jello pudding snack. You know, I admire a woman who has no need for artificial colors or flavors. A woman who knows the only thing better than a snack of 70% skim milk is sharing it with someone you love. Pardon me. Jello pudding snacks. Pretty smart for a kid. Kids in bed? Uh-huh. Get everything done? Uh-huh. Well, I saw the dishes to do. Let them go. Okay. How you feel? I feel pretty good. Yeah? Yeah. I'm ready. Good. Go. So, what'd you think of lunch? Well, the pork and beans were so magnifique. My compliments to the chef. Well, I will have to tell him when I throw away the cans. Please do. You know, I haven't had the slightest thought of any of my problems back in Landview for these last few hours. It's amazing what a little fresh air will do for someone, isn't it? Listen, next time you decide to take a drive through the Lord knows where we are in New Jersey, and you decide to break down, would you please give me a call? Because I think I'd like to come along for the ride. Absolutely. I'm having a wonderful time. I am, too. You know, when I first asked you to come, it was just for the company. But now I'm really enjoying myself. Hmm. And I have to admit, that surprises me. What? Why? Well, I didn't think I'd have as much fun with you. Well, thanks a lot. <laughs> you know what I mean. I just, I had the wrong impression of you at first. Oh. But now that I'm stuck in this little cabin all mm -hmm. by myself with you and uh -huh. in the middle of nowhere, yeah. I'm enjoying myself. Oh. And it's all because of you. Oh, no, no, please, please, please. I'm getting embarrassed. I'm, I'm getting it. so embarrassed. Please, Max, stop. stop. Oh, I'm don't. having fun, okay? No, no, I can't help please, it. I can't. Okay, no, that's no, enough. Okay, that's it. Cut. <laughs> Listen, the feeling is mutual. But like they say, all good things must come to an end. No. What do you mean, no? Yes. No. Yes. Yes, we have to go now. We're gonna have to go out to the road to see if we can get you a lift. We don't have to go anywhere. Well, we can't spend all day here. Why not? I've already missed my appearance. We could just, I don't know, relax, take advantage of the situation. What's the situation? You're the script writer. You know, you're right. I cannot think of one good reason to leave right now. Oh, writer's block? No, let's just call it uh, poetic license. You know, that's the uh, tenth time you've looked at your watch in the last three minutes. And why don't you admit it? The dude ain't gonna show. All right, all right. I guess I'm gonna have to cancel Michael Graham from the program. <sighs> Thanks. Thanks for coming back. Hey, come on. What are friends for? Yeah, you know, you're some kind of guy. You're mm -hmm. so dependable, so reliable, so loyal. <laughs> Actually, I, uh, I'm really not a Boy Scout, you know. Oh, I know that. I know that. As a matter of fact, you're just like me. Whenever you want something, you know how to get it. Hey, speaking of getting it, what are you doing uh, <clears throat> after the show? Got something in mind? I thought maybe we'd go over to my place and uh, play a little. What? Oh, my God. My God what? It's him. Him who? Michael Grant. Hello, excuse me. Uh, can I help you? I'm uh, looking for Melinda Crane. She uh, sent me a note by messenger, but he left so quickly that I didn't have time to make my reply. So, I'm uh, delivering it in person. Uh, well, I'm Melinda Kramer, and I'll certainly take it. Well, all right. Thank you. Ah, you accept! <laughs> I can't believe it! <laughs> 
<laughs> I can't believe it worked. Uh, what worked? Oh, well, um, you know that messenger that delivered the uh, message to you? Well, that was me. I, I know. Yeah, really, Miss uh, Kramer, I, uh, I didn't just fall off the cabbage truck. I do know a woman when I see her, uh, even if she is disguised as a man and trying to talk two octaves below her. Uh, um, oh, bitch. Excuse us just for one minute. Oh, excuse us. What the hell are you doing? That's Michael Grant. I know who it is. I didn't just fall off a cabbage truck either. What's he doing here? Oh, John. Look, I'm so sorry. Uh... You're going to cancel me again? Well, you can be on tomorrow. You can have the whole show, I promise. Hey, forget what it, are... forget it. To hell with your show. John, wait. Come on, don't be mad at me. I'm uh, sorry if I caused any problems. Um, is there something I can do to help matters any? that I was in school. Everybody says that I was. Cheddar cheese is one of the most popular cheeses. And when you take the most popular cheese and put it with the most popular popcorn, you can't help but have a popular finished product. What a popping in there. Yeah, I know. That's what popcorn's all about. Pop it and pop it and pop it. Grandpa's sweet tooth? Well, it's rather simple. First of all, Grandpa always likes to have his dessert first and last. We've had caramel corn around for a long, long time. But we've never had caramel corn like this where you can serve it hot. It melts in your mouth. Got strange customs here. Eat little tiny goldfish, crunchy critters, and flavors like cheddar and parmesan. The best thing is goldfish are easy to catch. Hey. I used to change your diapers. Talk. Sometimes I just don't feel fresh, even after a shower. Sounds like it's time for Massengill. Massengill washes away odor for confidence that lasts. Thanks, Mom. Massengill, trusted by more women. There's nothing like hot milk before bedtime. Introducing Calgon Foaming Milk Bath with milk and baby oil to soften you all over. Treat yourself to hot milk tonight. Let new Calgon Foaming Milk Bath take you away. With Chef Boyardee Pizza Mix, everyone's the chef. It's good. When you're the chef, you put in just what you want and just how much you want. It's better than good. It is better than delicious. It's great. Here's what to do. ABC's first decathlon of comedy continues tonight, tomorrow, and Thursday nights with Growing Pains, followed by Head of the Class. This is Charles Gibson. And Joan London. Tomorrow, George C. Scott on his return to the stage with a one-man show. Plus Jacqueline Bissett, Christina Crawford, and Who's the Boss star, Alyssa Milano on Good Morning America. Scotty searches for new evidence that could save Colton's life. Stay tuned for General Hospital, following an ABC News brief.